Oh, we've got our picture. We need to find the information for it and what, it, what size it is. So we're going to go to File and then Properties within the Image View. And what we can see down here is that we've got dimensions in pixels of 1595 by 2642. It may help to write these down because what we're going to actually do is make a plane that is going to be at the same dimensions as this uh, so that we can add it uh, as a reference image on the back. OK, what I've done in the front view is I've made a plane and made it to length 2642 and width 1595, which is the same length and width uh, amounts as what the picture is. So what we're going to do is go into the picture editor. We're going to do if it's not standard here, we're going to change that to standard, and we're going to apply our picture. We have open it, apply, assign. Now you shouldn't have to do this in yours, but in this version 3ds Max that I've got, I need to change my tiling so that it will appear on here. What we're going to do then is close this up, into modify list, going to unwrap, open the editor, select polygon to object, click the object, mapping, normal mapping, box mapping, OK. Then I'm going to change the freeform mode in freeform mode the size, holding shift and hovering over, I'm going to move this all the way up so that it fits within the box. Exit it, and we'll see that it's turned up maybe the wrong way. So what we're going to have to do is go back into the material editor and change this one here to minus 90. And now we have our object in place. What we're going to do is go into the front view, and we're going to create two separate lines. So go to here, to line, and we can zoom in a little bit so that we can create this line for the top of the or dispenser, and draw around it. Set to the middle, and do that. I'm going to do one just below it as well. Follow this around down okay so we should have two lines one going around here halfway and one going around the other halfway now, with these two lines, what we're going to do is select the first one, and we're going to put a modifier called lathe on it. And then we're going to press on the plus sign, axis, and move it in the x-axis so that it looks like the top of our water dispenser. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other one. Move the axis over. So when we go in the perspective view, we'll see that we have the water dispenser at the moment. Now we want to keep these at six segments because we don't want there to be a too high poly model. So what we're going to do next is with this one selected, we are going to right click, convert to editable poly on the bottom one. We're going to press Alt and X, and it should turn C through. If not, we're going to do object properties high layer and click C3 so it's on. In the front view what we're going to need to do is going to need to make a uh, opening to the object so we're going to click on some edges. So we're going to click on this one, right, one underneath, and that one so that it's opposite. Do. 
Now into polygon to object with both of them. We're going to select all three, the front and the lead. With that, what we're going to do is we will select the border that we have. It should go all the way around there. That's not what we want. So we're going to go into edge and we are going to select these two. And we're going to bridge down so that we have this indent the object. Then we're going to border. Cap that one. And this border to cap that one. So we have made this opening. Press Alt and X to see the result again. So now we've got half of the bit coming away from it. To make the taps, what we're going to do is we are going to go into shapes, we're going to create cylinders, and we're going to make one at about zero point three one one, and we're going to have six sides, and we're going to move it forward so that we get to here. We're going to convert it to vertical poly, and we are going to click on the front part. And with that, we will select on the two vertices and we'll cut or connect between them. Now, onto this part, we are going to need to select both of these, extrude, not 10. We want to do it at about 0.2, and maybe 3, just a little bit more, that's better. What we're going to do then is at the top, we're going to extrude from there, 0.3 again, and at the bottom, extrude 0.3 again. So we'll start to get a bit of a shape. So we go in the front view, and then into vertices. What we're going to do is make the object see through again. And we are going to move that down at the top, scale it out. This part here, we are going to ring the selection and we're going to connect. Back into the front view, OK it, and we are going to move that in. The same with this part, select all of those, connect, OK, that, vertices, we're going to move these ones down, and these ones down a little bit, select a view again, what we're going to do here, we're going to accept these ones, extrude a little bit. This time I'm going to do 0.1. Okay, and we're going to scale those in. Okay, so after we have resized this, so it looks as if it's going a little bit, what we're going to do is we are going to flatten off this top part a little bit so it's going to look a little bit more like a little tap wood. Um, so, I'm going to send this tiny bit more to the 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to move these elements in this. And these are ever so slightly as well. And then we're going to move the both of them in so we have this kind of look to it. And this part around the bottom, we're going to do is we're going to have these ones and that one, and then the opposite on the inside. And we're going to press connect. 
After that, we are going to select the vertices that are in each corner. So we've got all of them. And then we're going to scale them inwards. So that we get this rounded shape. Bit, we'll set the bottom of this part, move them in slightly so it corresponds with the rest of the shape. Also, double click at this part and go to ring, selection, and connect as well. And we're going to go into vert, select this one, and the one at the front, so we should have these two, and we're going to connect them. So now we have something that looks a little bit more like a tap. Whilst holding shift and moving, move the element over on so we get clone to element and we now have the other tap. Okay, so we're going to have to select this front polygon, delete it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to delete both insides of the taps out of there into edges and we're going to select the inside of here and the inside of here bridge them and go and then now it's going to select the element of the bottom and we're going to press flip so that all the geometry ends up on the outside so then we're going to select the border around here and the border around here and we are going to bridge them. So now we have them placed into the object. So that's that part done. Following that, what we're going to do is now we're going to try and connect the two of these together. So I'm just going to move the two of the objects out of the way of this plane. And I'm going to right click and convert the top half now move it up slightly higher and what I'm going to do is to select the bottom polygons delete them and also the same with the next ones as well select back on the object below Got the top ones delete them attach the two objects Select the borders, both, bridge them, and what we're going to do is we're going to set the verts at the top half, all the way around, move them down, and look in the front view at it, and it's now attached as an object all the way around. And there we have it. Water dispenser.